Hi guys, this is just going to be a short video, but I came in to our convention center just to get some directions to some ghost towns. And uh, they have a display here of some of the animals that are indigenous to Nevada. I am not a hunter. And let me get around this sign here. This is our uh, Civic Center where they host a lot of activities. So it kind of these animals are cool just to give you an idea of the animals that are indigenous to our state. However, and I know a lot of people disagree with me, but trophy hunting is, makes me sick. But you know, that's me. I just don't believe anything should be killed unless it is for sustenance or you need the fur or you know if you're going to use the animal but you know that's that's just silly me and this kind of uh, it's this is cool to see so you can see the different animals it's a little L right there But at the same time, these kind of displays kind of annoy the hell out of me. But I thought since I was here, there's antelope. Ooh, there's a nice little mountain lion guy for you. Or is that a mountain lion? Or is that just a lion? Not sure, we have mountain lions around here. That doesn't look like really a mountain lion. That's an African lion. And that's an impala right there. See these tusks? That pisses me off. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on. This is really bothering me. Sorry, guys. If you disagree with me, that's cool. I'm just not a hunter. And here's some of the, this is my thing, rock hunting. So here's some of the rocks and things that were found in the desert, the different types of minerals that we have, pretty cool. I really like those smoky quartz crystals. There's actually an area not too far from here. I'm in right downtown Winnemucca right now where you can go hunt for opals. It's pretty cool. opalized wood. It's pretty awesome. That's an opal sphere. It was found here in our valley. Bayrite right, right there is, there's a huge Bayrite mine down by Las Vegas. Oh, 
I like these quartz crystals, those are cool. And we have some arrowheads that were found here in the valley. You can find them all over the place. Here's a piece of a petroglyph. There's an old miner's hat, check it out. Let's see what it looks like from the front. Pretty cool. I guess that's a piece of a dinosaur of some sort. Look at these bottles. Hercules powder. shining on that one. Some of the more famous cowboys that were, so I can get that focus, that were here during the 1800s. Can you imagine dressing like that in the heat? Holy cow. They didn't have air conditioning back then either. picture. Sorry, it's kind of grainy. The light in here is terrible. Those are real cowboys. What's this one? That's pretty cool. Some little 1800 cowboy boots. Here's a nice saddle. Right there. That's pretty cool. This is Louis Siri. Right there. Famous cowboy of the Winnemucca area. A lot of ranchers and farms around here. Still are, this is mainly ranching and farming. And then the mines came in, so there's a lot of gold mining and silver mining in this area. I wish my phone would focus better. Sorry, guys. And the lighting is kind of weird in here, too. Here's some more cool saddles. This saddle belonged to Albert Aaron Abel. One of the cowboys in the 1800s. And there's a lasso or lasso, however you want to pronounce it, with his chaps that he wore on his legs. And this is Herman Vowell and Ray Vowell, brothers that had ranch in this area. It's pretty, pretty big room that's full of stuff, but you can't really get real close to it, which is probably a good thing. Now this is a cool picture. That is cool. And that's pretty much what our area looked like back in the ranching days. It still does to some extent. 
That's what my property looks like. It's all sagebrush and dirt and sand. Little cowboy hat and chaps. It's pretty awesome. He was a famous rancher way back when, but I can't read his name. Things are too far away. It kind of gives you an idea of what my neck of the world looks like and what people wore. And we haven't changed a whole lot, actually, when you get out on the ranches and the farms. Still kind of sort of the same. cool saddles. Oh, here's another really cool picture. Let's see if I can get my feet out of the picture. <laughs> That's pretty cool. see those pictures too well but a lot of cowboy pictures and here's a painting by Larry Butte of a three-fingered cowboy that's a painting right there a lot of cowboys lost some fingers uh, Especially if they're breaking horses and they put their hands underneath the straps that are around the horse and it'll break their fingers in their hands and sometimes they lose their fingers. But that was the way it was back then. I keep getting my shadow in the way, sorry. It's not a cool saddle. It's owned by Bill Nelson. the rancher guys around here. Those are really neat. Plaques for our state. Uh, the the uh, motto of our state is Battle Born and that was adopted in 1864. And I can read you part of it. It's a, it's a pretty big, as you can see, pretty big plaque. I wish it were hanging out here. It says, it was in the 1800s that we left our Eastern home and there we joined with the wagon train to find ourselves a home. My father, the driver of oxen, my mother in her gingham was dear. I just, as a little child, we're heading for the great frontier. And that's about all I can make out of it. It's pretty worn. It's a whole poem. It's a cowboy poem, but I can't read all of it. And that one has a poem on it too. One next to it there it says Nevada, but I can't make it out. These look like they're pretty old. Here's a pretty good picture down here. That's pretty cool. Branding a steer, a couple of cowboys. This, I'm shooting through glass and you can hardly see some of this stuff. I'm trying to get angles where the light's not too bad. And there's a cowboy statue. It's uh, made out of bronze. It's an uh, artist made that. Pretty cool. Okay, and here's a, that's an old saddle owned by Emery Shorty Riff. 
He was a cow boss for the Circle A Ranch. And this was donated by the Abel family of Gonzales, California. Donated to our little museum here in Winnemucca, Nevada. It's pretty cool. Some spurs back there. Nasty things. That's a pretty neat picture. If you can see it. Let me see if I can. There you go. Breaking a horse. Riding a wild bronco. Let's see what else we got here. That's somebody's rope. Cowboy statue. That's a pretty cool picture right there. But that was pretty, <laughs> it says close quarters on that picture and it certainly was. You wouldn't want to fall off your horse in that mess. Oops, don't mean to get me in the picture. Here's some cowboy equipment. Here's a what they call a yoke for your oxen. If you're pulling a wagon. I hate taking pictures through glass, you get so much glare. Let's see if I can get that picture in the background somehow. It's a pretty neat picture. There we go, that's not too bad. And this is how they used to haul a hay. That's an old ranch setup. Old ranch house in the background and all the animals pulling the wagons, taking their hay to wherever they need it to go. This one's a little better lighted. <laughs> Jack's boots, whoever Jack was. There's another statue, artist rendering of a cowboy. Oh, that's a neat drawing in the background. Sorry about my keys jingling there. That's pretty cool. That looks like a pencil drawing some cowboys if you can see that. And there's some of their ranching camps when they would go out and round up the cattle. The bottom, <coughs> excuse me, that bottom one even looks like it might have a couple of teepees in it. Sometimes the Indians, or the Native Americans, sorry, were hired around here to work on the ranches. Oops, I almost dropped my phone, huh? Ah. These right here are old Spanish style spurs. Made sometime during the early part of the 19th century, but before 1849. The design is essentially Spanish, and the workmanship shows how they were made with crude tools, such as the Mexican metal craftsmen and Spanish California used. That's pretty awesome. Got a little revolver back there. That was from the Sheriff of Lander County. And there he is in that picture right there. That's his revolver, revolver and his badge. And there was the sheriff. He must have been a good one because he lived to a pretty good old age. Okay. 
There's a really old picture in the background. It's really faded. Let's see what this one is. That's a good one. They're branding their cattle out on the range. Here's one of the ropes that they would have used. And here's another sa uh, saddle. And this thing in the front here is chaps that he wore on his legs to protect his legs from getting uh, chaffed and beat up against the saddle and his ropes and stuff. Sorry about that. And these are sculptures. I don't know if you can see them. There's a lot of light shining off the glass. But these are some sculptures back in there, if you can see them. It's pretty dark. This is pretty cool. That's a... Uh, Roadster. I'm, it doesn't say much about it. It just says uh, Winnemucca Propane on the side, so they must have been who sponsored it. But it's, uh, it's a car collection, somebody's car collection, but I don't really know much about this type of car. If you know, let me know. It's some kind of a race car, I would imagine, way back when, some kind of Roadster. So uh, let me know if you know what that is. I happen to notice there's some belt buckles here. I guess this is somebody's collection. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of these. Old cowboy belt buckles. Those are pretty awesome. Yeah, somebody's got a huge collection of belt buckles in here. I'll just show you some of them because there's like a ton of them in here. Pretty neat. See, there's like lots of them. This is somebody's private collection. It's on display. It's pretty awesome. Pretty nice belt. Oh, here's a mining belt buckle. Let's see if I can get over here and get this one. Yeah, right there. It's one of the big haul trucks out at the mines. Those things are so big, they're as big as a house. Pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind having a few of those for my boys. Very nice. And here's some pictures of old Winnemucca. Can you imagine? Just dirt and sage and dirt roads and a few buildings. That's all that was here. That looks like it might have been in the 40s or 50s. Judging by the old cars. The old courthouse, which has been remodeled quite a bit. And there's an old hotel down there, which is long gone now. That's downtown Winnemucca. And that is part of the old school building, which has been added on to, and it's still here in town. Pretty cool. They kept it in pretty much the same condition, so that's awesome. That's a good picture down here. In front of a uh, boarding house. And that's the stagecoach bringing people into town. And there's some more people. Farmers, ranchers coming into town with their buckboards and their horses to get their supplies. And 
And this house right here was, uh, it was a restaurant and it was also at one time a barbershop and also a hardware store. And that you can find in the Winnemucca Museum. Or I should say Humboldt Museum. I'm not sure the year on this. It's gotta be the late 1800s, early 1900s. Anyway, some of these are repeat pictures. Look at this train. Oh, the reflection is in the way. Darn it. Of course, i try from this angle. There you can see a little bit better. Pretty awesome. And that's obviously in the mercantile store where you went to buy your clothes. Pretty neat. And this was that little town that I live right next door to. And that's where I am today. I came in to get directions to some ghost towns and didn't know all this was in here, so I took a little tour. I love those old cars. Those are awesome. Oh, look, you can get a side view of this car that I wanted to take a picture of. I think that's about all they have in here that we can look at. Oops, I got too close. There you go. I can see the whole car. Let's see if I can get it better. No, nope, I guess that door's going to be in the way no matter what. Oh, look at this. Look inside. That's where the engine is. Check it out. <laughs> That's amazing. And then back here is where the driver would sit. Wow. And his feet would be like right there at the engine. Okay, down here tells us a little bit about it. It's 1932, Ford two-door sedan, or Tudor. Hmm. And they used to race this car. I thought it was a race car. Oh, got my tennis shoes in there. You wanna see my tennis shoes? And there they are racing. Out by Elko, Nevada. And I think that's the gentleman that drove it, and his wife or girlfriend, whichever. Pretty awesome. Okay, guys, that was just a uh, unexpected stop. But I thought I'd stop and show you what's here, since I was in here. Oh, look, you can get your. Uh, you're taking, put your head in there and <laughs> take a picture. So there you have it. Nice little uh, detour this morning. Since I still can't go out, I've, I've been out looking to see if I can get any masks locally because I don't want to wait forever. So uh, we'll see when they come in or if I can find something sooner or if the smoke lights up a little bit so I can go outside. So until then, thank you so much for watching.